What's up, everybody? I'm Kansu, and this is The Crystal Corner. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know what today's video is about. So if you ain't following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at Crystal Corner on Instagram so you get updated as far as what we're going to be posting, what I'm going to be talking about, and, you know, just a little insight to my life. But today we're going to be talking about animal totems, right? One of them that I've been working with for a while is, uh, is the shark, you know? Sharks are apex predators, you know what I'm saying? Can't nothing stop a shark from getting to that goal, getting to the meat, getting to their prey, handling them things they try to handle, which is why you want to work with them. So, you can see that there. We got a shark tooth, right? And sharks typically have like a crazy number of rows of teeth, right? Like 10, sometimes 30 rows of teeth. And with that said, you know, they bite, they lose teeth. Now, no sharks were harmed in the harvesting of said shark tooth and if you want shark teeth let me know i got them for you that look just like the one i'm wearing here but sharks have a chemical composition of um calcium phosphate right which allows them to not break down and dematerialize and become bits of dust um it allows them to fossilize it takes about ten thousand years for a shark's tooth to become a fossil like this and if you look pretty close you can see at the top here on this ridge, it has a small deposit of what we would call sandstone. There's little bits of sand in there, right? Remember, I went to school for environmental geography, so I'm always going to give you the science behind these gemstones and crystals and fossils and all that other stuff, because that's what I study. But before I get in anything, you got your cold brews with you and your notebook. Let's go ahead and crack them. Now, I don't ever crack a drink of water soda, beer, tea, coffee, or anything else without taking this chip and pouring some out just like that. Eh. For the dead homies, for the ancestors, then you go ahead and grab you a goat. <sighs> Damn. Excuse me. Ain't nothing like that first sip. Nothing at all. So, let's talk about the shark for a little bit, right? Let me give you the breakdown. So, sharks are physical healers. Um, the totem heals you physically, right? Because the calcium phosphate within the bones, just wearing this brings the vibration. Remember, we told you everything carries vibration, right? Carries the vibration of that calcium phosphate, which helps to build your immune system and uh, aids in physical vigor. Vigor is pretty much, you know, like your strength, you know, um, endurance, your ability to, oh. damn, that's the beer, excuse me, work on the task and see it through and continue to give it energy throughout the process of building, right? It's also an emotional healer and it uh, helps to assist um, with taking those negative thought processes that you have and flipping them over to a positive. It's really, really hard to manifest things when you have a negative mindset. So if you want something to help you kind of clear that negative energy from your aura, from your thought process, then the shark and the shark's tooth is something that you want to carry around. It's also a symbol of masculinity as well, you know, warrior type energy. Not to say that, ladies, you can't have it either, because like we talk about on this channel, you definitely want to balance your energies out, right? So... Uh, just as it is important for men to tap into that masculine energy, it's important for you women as well to tap into that. And truthfully, in the Hawaiian, um, correct me if I'm wrong if you guys are out there in uh, Hawaiians, right? But in their thought process, this is a gemstone of the queens, right? These are stones. Yes, it's technically a stone because this is a fossil, even though it still looks like a tooth, right? Um, of the ancestors, you know the gods and the fam familial gods that you work with and familiar energies and stuff like that. Um, they believe that when someone passes away or, you, you know, things like that, they get incarnated as a shark and holding a shark's tooth is like holding ancestral energy. So just another way to tap into that ancestral energy. You know what I'm saying? If you got an ancestor all to whatever you want them to sw be around you, you keep a shark's tooth on you. Kind of like how sharks swim around in pods, you know, that fierce, uh, protective energy is going to be carried around your aura bubble. They're swimming around you. Your ancestors are around you. Those warriors are with you. This is just a reminder of that, okay? It's ruled, um, 
ruled by the root chakra, or what they like to call your base chakra, as well as the solar plexus, giving you the ability to start tapping into the, that kundalini energy. Because remember, we talked about how kundalini is trapped in your root chakra. When you break it open, it's allowed to flow through and it's expressed and given light and personality through your solar plexus. That's where your personality comes from. It comes from your solar plexus type energy, right? If you have a low self-esteem, your um, solar plexus isn't generating enough energy. You're not tapped into it properly. It's not balanced. This helps to bring balance to that. Real chakra specifically, because it keeps you solid, keeps you grounded, right? That's the, the point where the seed goes in the ground and the roots start to grow. You can't, a tree is only as strong as its roots, right? So the stronger that you get that root chakra, your base chakra, the more energy you can send up, the stronger your conviction throughout your spinal column is going to be, throughout your seven chakra system, throughout the world around you. You know, you got to have strong roots in order to be able to build a solid foundation on anything, right? Just like building a house, you got to have really good, strong studs in order for that house to be able to sit up without anything interfering with it, right? Um, sharks allow you to, hold on, UPS man delivering late Christmas presents, it looks like, although I don't celebrate Christmas, only the solstice. That's just me, though. Y'all do what y'all want. Um, we talked about how sharks are an emotional healer, right? It helps you to stay calm. And how does it help you stay calm, right? Sharks are the top predator in the ocean, right? Ain't nothing messing with a shark. Ain't nothing messing with a shark. It's just not. You're not going to mess with a shark. So the same thing. If you're dealing with business, you know, there's a phrase that states something like, you know, if you if you want to do business, you got to learn how to stay in the room full of sharks and vultures, right? Well, in order to come in the room with sharks, you got to swim with the sharks. You got to become a shark. Um, you got to know what it is that you're you're looking for. You know, sharks have the strong ability to smell, right? They could smell blood from miles and miles and miles away, and they will hone in on on it with laser accuracy and they will take their time they're very very patient yes they're predators but they're patient as hell when it comes to hunting out something right so in accomplishing goals you've heard kind of talk about how you got to give time time it's the same thing you got to be patient and the shark will allow you to do that it's not going to tire itself out swimming hard to get to the prey where it could lay back watch it wait till the prey gets tired and then make their move you know, it's the same thing. Like, let's say you wanted to buy a car and you might want to buy this car right now, but it might be May. And we know car sales ain't popping in May. But if you be patient and wait until like October, November, maybe if you can push it till December, it's Christmas sale or a solstice sale or an end of the year sale where they're trying to flip over a lot. And you can get the same car for a shit ton less. Why race to the finish line and exhaust your resources where you could learn to be patient, buy your time, stack up a little bit more, and then make a certain kill at a better benefit to you? You see what I'm saying? So sharks allow you to live a full, full life because they, they block out all of that negativity. They block out negative thought processes. They block out anything that's not serving you from your, your greatest and highest good. And it's really, really good for people that deal with a lot of loss, right? One thing that's certain in life is you're going to be here and you're going to go. You're going to die. Nobody knows when you're going to die, but you know everybody has to, right? And that's the same thing with situations. Things start and things end. Those are the only two con constants here, right? Only constant in the physical reality is change. I think there's another car coming, so excuse me. It's a man on the golf cart. Um, and with that said, because we know that everything starts and ends, the shark allows you to only see how to build new, only renew things. Like, yes, something's dying, but you can also bring it back to life. It's kind of like a Rose of Jericho, right, where it shrivels up. If it doesn't have any water, you put water on it, it'll start to open up like this. It renews. And then when it's time, you remove the water source. It'll close back up until you need to renew it again. Those are the ebbs and flows of life. You know, you're following those cycles and a shark allows you to be able to.
to ride that wave so that you can continue to live a full life and only see renewal. It's not going to allow you to see, mind you, you'll notice, you know, when things are falling apart, but it's more so giving you the ability to tap into it to rebuild. You know, there's no such thing as a bad thing. Anytime you're going through something negative, it's like, okay, but how can I turn this to my benefit? Yes, that happened. There's nothing I can do. We've lost that prey, but I'm sure there's another fish out there I can, I can go get. So how do I go get to it? And it's not going to give you any time in between to think about it or dwell on it or be sad about it. It's like, okay, missed opportunity. Let's create another one. It, all, all it's trying to do is get you to be the apex predator. You know what I'm saying? If you want to manifest the reality, you want to create the life that you want, you got to put in the work. And the shark is all about work. It's not about, okay, what did I lose? Okay, what, what can I build next? What can we do next? I accomplished that goal. What can I do now? The shark is what I've been walking with in order to get to where I'm at um, to be, you know, my own boss. You know what I'm saying? This is the energy that I'm working with to get Crystal Corner TV off the ground. This is what I've been working with to get more customers and to get my business going and to get to where it is that I am currently. I don't have time to sit back and wait for things to fall through or to wait for somebody to hand me stuff out. No, that's a big truck. I don't, I don't have time to wait on that. You know what I'm saying? Only thing that I'm looking for is my next move, my next check, my next come up. You know what I'm saying? How am I going to get this going? And the shark allows me the ability to do so. So to keep this video kind of short, you know, as a spirit animal, sharks are very, very peaceful for the most part. Extremely peaceful. They don't bother shit unless you bother it. And because... They have the ability to be ferocious. They tend to be deemed as ferocious. No, they're not. Sharks are very ferocious. However, they have such a restraint within them that they're not just going to go wild and crazy and kill everything in sight. No, that's not the point. They're going to go after what it is they set their mind to. Like you. Remember, I told you, you can do anything you set your mind to, but you got to put the work in after it. The shark has that laser, laser focused intent and that's something that we all need help with especially in manifesting something in order to manifest you got to be able to hold that idea hold that thought hold that convention conviction and see it through the same way a shark can smell seal's blood 75 miles away and swim to that seal take it out get a meal and then go about his day you got to be able to do the same thing it might take you a while to swim that 75 miles. Let's be real. We're people. We got to walk 75 miles. Now you can get there on a skateboard, rollerblades, uh, razor scooter, uh, hoverboard, uh, Tesla, you can drive a Mercedes, a Mazda, or whatever, you know, but you still got to go 75 miles. Everybody's mode of transportation is different, but the point is waiting for these to go by. Guess I'll take a sip in the meantime. The point is, we all got to travel that 75 miles. And if you deviate from the plan, you might lose the prey. So we work with the shark to help us stay fine tuned on what it is that we want and swim straight forward to make that kill so that we can continue to manifest what we want without no BS in the middle. It's like having blinders on, right? Like you a horse you're running a race. Put them blinders on. I can only see straight. I only see my target. There's a tree in front of me. I can only see that tree when I put these blinders on. And that's the only thing I'm headed for. I'm not worried about what's to the left or right. I'm not worried about who's behind me. I'm not worried about them naysayers in my ear. No, I'm focused on that tree and I'm going to get to it. That's what the shark helps you do, right? It also helps you to read people and read people's energy accurately. Because in order to make some of the best moves and not throw yourself off, you got to be able to read energy. You got to be able to read people's vibes. And sometimes you might need to learn how to persuade them just a little bit to get what you want. That's what businessmen do, right? That's what salespeople do and uh, professors do when they're trying to teach you something in school or your teacher in elementary school and high school when they're trying to get you to think about a new idea, parents, bosses. It's all about persuasion. Now, the, the shark helps to give you the power of persuasion so that you can start to manipulate those things. But it also helps you to enjoy life because while they are very goal oriented, they're quite playful, right? They're quite peaceful. And because it eliminates those negative thought processes from your being, 
you know, those things that we get hung up on or the things that I didn't accomplish, the things that I didn't do, shoulda, coulda, woulda, did this better, this way, that way. Um, it allows you to only see and experience the good things. Hi, B. Oh, I said B. I love bees, man. Shouts out to the bees. We'll talk about them on another video, too. Bees are so freaking important, but we're talking about sharks right now. So I'm going to get back on that, right? So they help you to enjoy life because once you let go of those negative thought processes and things that are holding you down, everything just becomes happy. Everything becomes all right. Everything becomes cool. Like no matter if I take a L or not, it's still going to be cool because I know that there's always something else around the corner and you don't dwell on it. You don't hold on to baggage you don't need because it's going to stop you from getting to your goal in the first place. So the shark allows you to cut those cords, so to speak. You just let them go. You know what I'm saying? You're, allowed, you're able to read people more accurately so you can work with their energy. You, you, know, you know how to maneuver yourself a little bit better if you know how that individual, if we're going to continue to use water. If you know how that otter or that seal is out there swimming because you can ride their wave, you, you're more able to go ahead and follow them to make that kill, get to where you want to go without having to stretch yourself out, trying to figure out what they're doing. No, you can read it. You can feel it. You can sense it. And what that basically is doing is tapping you into your intuition, which is important, you know? You need to help tapping into your intuition and tapping into that power of forethought, foresight. The shark is the one you want to do. Because remember, I said they have a strong sense of smell. They also have a strong sense of feel throughout their body. Now, they, now the eyes might not be the greatest. Let's keep it a buck. Sharks can't see that damn great. But they can smell you and they can feel you. The same thing with us humans in the physical. These eyes will fail the shit out of you, which is why we need to learn how to work this one. Our intuition, the one in your forehead, this one right here. Once you start working with this boy, these ones don't matter no more. You can navigate the waters a little bit better. You can get to where you're trying to go. You can manifest the things that you want to. So, like I said, man, to keep it really, really short, because I don't want to make this video go too long, um, the shark helps with a lot of things, man. It helps you heal. It balances out your chakras. Is it, it allows you to live a full life free of worry of what's going to go wrong. It teaches that through death, the only thing important is renewal. Like everything has to die. Just like when we have fall, you know what I'm saying? Fall is a part of seasons. If you live in the North, whatever, you got four seasons. And you know, it's sure that spring is going to follow after fall. You get winter for a minute when everything's dead. And guess what? Renewal, springtime. So don't worry about what's going to happen with the fall. The leaves got to fall. That's normal. But worry about them seeds you're going to plant. So when they bloom later, the renewal process, right? It's rule, or sharks rule um, your throat chakra, so they allow you to speak your truth, okay? Um, they give you drive. They activate your kundalini. It's ruled by the planets um, Saturn and Mercury, and the zodiac signs that are associated with those based off the planets is Capricorn and Virgo. So Saturn brings with it discipline, order, structure, uh, business acumen, um, you know, things of that nature, longevity. Uh, it's not going to give you a lump sum of money. Saturn's not going to give you a lump sum, sum of money unless it knows that you can properly handle it. OK, so that's what longevity is, where Jupiter is more so of a planet where you want to work with for, you know, quick luck and expansion in that aspect. Um, sometimes Jupiter can be fleeting. You know, Father Time or Capricorn is the planet that's going to make sure that you get tested and know how to run your company, run your business, run your life so that you don't lose the things that you're going to accrue. And Mercury deals with thought process and communication. So you're going to be clear about your ideas, clear about your convictions, clear about what you want to do. Add it with the discipline, order and structure of Saturn to be able to accomplish those goals, because with thought. You can create reality and with discipline, with work, you can make anything happen. Remember, I told you, or at labor, you have to have the prayer. That's the meditation, the thought process, the idea, right? And the labor, the et labor and work. That's the discipline, the structure. That's Saturn, okay? All of those things come from the shark. Like I said, if you guys want one of these, DM me comment below i'll reach out to you and make sure you get it very reasonable price so don't trip on that um 
we want to be talking about a few more animal totems here. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to talk about next. You want me to talk about bees or do you want me to talk about the birds? <laughs> okay, the birds and the bees. Uh, birds specifically, we can talk about owls or ravens. You know, those are the, both magical creatures or we can talk about bees. Just let me know. Till next time, man, I'm Kansu. This is the Crystal Corner. I'm going to get it to y'all a later date. Peace.